Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Laraja Andrea, and today I am back with another video. This is going to be my second video that's a part of my dummy series that I've started. If you guys did not see um, the first dummy series episode, which was basically me showing how I do my wing liner, I will definitely link that in the description box below. But this is going to be my second one. This one's going to be primarily on eyelashes. I'm going to be showing how I put my eyelashes on, which is perfect for beginners, as well as I'm showing you guys my favorite eyelashes that I've been wearing in all of my videos practically. Um, they are the Dodo Lashes, and they are 3D Mink Lashes. I know, finally, I've been saying I'm going to show you guys my favorite lashes, and I'm finally getting to the freaking video. I know, so sorry, but it's here. So the first part of the video, I definitely want to show how I put on my false lashes. And I'm going to be showing how I put on a specific pair of lashes that I've been wearing all the freaking time, practically. And they are just super wispy, super flared, perfect for anyone that wears a wing liner or anyone that just has an almond shaped eye or even a round eye and they want to manipulate their eye shape to make it look as if it's more of a cat eye shape. Um, I am so obsessed with these lashes. They are 3D, which means they are double layered. Um, and that's why I literally love this whole Dodo Lash line because all of their um, D3 um, lashes are 3D, so they are double layered and they look so flawless, so bomb. I always get so many comments on my lashes, where did I get them from? And the best thing about it is they are $12 and some that I want to show you guys today are $5. So I know a lot of times mink lashes run for about $30. I don't got time for that. These are $12 and then I'll show you guys the ones that are $5 and they are bomb. So I'm going to be putting on the D309 lashes today. I have a pair that I usually wear on a daily basis. You can wear them up to about 30 times. I literally wear them up to like 30 times because that's just how good quality they are for the price. So the first step is getting your lashes out of the box. Some people may struggle with this. I know in the beginning when I first got into lashes, I struggled with this. Sometimes you may rip it too hard and it comes off. Sometimes you may pull it too hard and the freaking hair is just freaking start falling off um i want to show you guys how i personally like to take out my lashes so i'll just take them out of the box and then when it comes to the plastic i like to bend back the plastic so when i bend back the plastic it gives me an easier way to just take off the lash and all i do is just peel from the root of the lash and peel up in an upper motion like so so easy Okay, now that I have my lash out of the box, I'm going to first measure my lash to my eye shape. So I wanted to zoom in so you guys can really see exactly what I'm talking about. So you want to measure up the middle of your lash with the middle of your eye. So I'm just taking the middle of the lash and just placing it on the middle of my eye like so. And then I like to push down on the outer and then push down on the inner just to see if they line up correctly with my own lash and they do if you guys need to cut your lashes always cut from the ends of the lash you never want to be cut in the beginning of the lash because it look will look kind of weird especially for flared eyelashes like this so definitely make sure that you are always taking off any excess lashes you need to take off on the end of the lash never in the beginning so I'm going to show you guys two kind of lash glues that you could use. There is the duo lash glue. They have one in clear or white and then they have one in dark. I like the dark one. But if I'm like in a super rush, I don't have time to like sit and let my lash glue dry for a freaking hour. I will use another kind of lash glue, but the same one is from the, but it is from the same duo line and it's their brush on adhesive. I love giving this to people that are just getting into putting on their lashes because it is clear and it's a brush on and it's an easier applicator than the um, applicator on the tube. Sometimes I feel like if you use the tube and you don't know how to measure out put the glue on your lash for you're just beginning putting on lashes, it can literally spill out. You may put too much on your lash band or it just gets absolutely messy. So I like to um, request people that are beginners to use the brush on because it has a brush on applicator. You can just brush it right onto your lash band with no problems. 
and it is white and once it dries and it's ready for you to put on it turns clear or translucent so i'm going to use the um brush one adhesive instead of the other one just to show you guys how i use it and apply it onto my lash band so i just like to just take it out of the tube and then i take my lash and i like to take my lash and then the lash brush adhesive and just glide it on to my lash band if you need to reapply a few more just dip it into the tube but all you do is literally just run it across the lash band and like I said, it is white, but once you need to put it on and it's ready for you to apply, it turns iridescent. And that's why I literally love this. And it does not take 50 million hours for it to dry. So that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to let it sit for about 30 seconds. Generally, lash glue takes about 30 seconds. I feel like with the tube glue, it takes a little bit longer, maybe about a minute. So if I'm rushing and I do not have time, I will definitely recommend you guys use to this one. So that's how quick it's already starting to turn iridescent. So now it's ready for me to put on my lash. So now that it's iridescent, it's become pretty tacky. So it's going to be easier for me to apply and just stick onto my lash. So I like to look down. I like to recommend you guys get a mirror or something that you can see to look down when you apply your lash. It's harder to look up and apply it because it just becomes kind of complicated and just too much. So I recommend that you guys look down when applying your lash and just look into a mirror that way. And that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys. So I like to do exactly what I did when I measured my lash. I like to start in the center of my lash and apply it on. You'll feel like a wet sensation when you first put it on and that's how you make sure that you know it's on your lash. And then I like to start on the outside and place it on. I make sure that I push it really well onto my outer lash and make sure it's really secure and it's not going anywhere. Then I take my opposite hand and look down still and push it on the inner corner. And that's it a lot of people like to use tweezers I don't really like to use tweezers because one time I actually poked myself in the eye and I was like never again so ever since that day I just stopped using tweezers started using my fingers if you guys have nails that actually helps even more when applying your lashes because you can just use your nail tip and just really make sure that you're pressing and pushing your lashes with your falsies together but I do not have nails and my nails aren't super long so I just like to use my fingertips. So I never recommend that you guys push the lashes with your lashes in this direction. I recommend that you guys do it sideways so that you are not ripping off your lash or you are not taking off your lashes and have to start all over. So I'm just going to do it from the side and kind of open my eye a little bit wider and just making sure that I'm pressing gently with my lashes and the falsies together to make sure that it's secure and does not go anywhere and once it is fully dry like how it is I like to push upwards to make sure that they are not looking down or forward then once my lashes are on I like to just go over top with my liner that I use to make my wing and I like to glide this over top of my lash band just so everything just blends seamlessly everything is hidden whether it's any glue left on my lash band that is still white and just to make sure that my eyeliner is still on fleek and there's no mistakes and there you have it. I'm just going to do the other one. I'm going to do it on camera just to show you guys how easy it is to do this. It is not complicated. The bigger, the biggest trick is to make sure that your lash glue is tacky. That is pretty much it. And also making sure that you are getting it really nice onto your lash line. And that is so easy. It's so easy. People have tried to make lashes seem so complicated. But the biggest trick is people do not let this dry on their lashes properly. So once you let it dry for about 30 seconds, it should be tacky enough for you to place it on. And now that my lashes are on, I like to go in with my mascara afterwards. Because these are 3D mink lashes, I like to do the mascara after so that it blends in good and seamlessly. Then if I were to do the mascara first and then put the lashes on, it would just look super hard and just not blended at all. So now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and do a very thin coat. 
and just lightly blend my lashes with the falsies to make sure it just blends in super seamless. All right, guys, now here are the lashes that I love besides the D309s. These lashes are the D307s. They are absolutely perfect for halo eye looks, and I also like them because they have a lot of drama in the center of the lash, which is very pretty and very subtle. Um, I also like the D313 lashes. These are just new to their company. They are less drama than the D307s and D309s, but they have a very flared um, style to them, and they are more spacey. I love me some space. Eye um, lashes, and I really do like them because they're more on the natural side, at least more natural than me. So, if you don't want a lot of drama with your lashes, I would get the D313s because they are just absolutely perfect and beautiful. Then my last favorite are the D115 lashes. These are from the single line. They are not 3D. They are not double stacked. So these are a little bit more natural, perfect for beginners, perfect for everyday um, lash wearers. They give a little bit of drama, but it's not too much. And they also have a slight flare to the outer portion of the eyelash. But that pretty much concludes my entire dummy series on how to apply lashes while also showing you guys my favorite lashes that I like to wear from the company. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys really learned something from this video. I hope to see you guys in my next videos on my channel. And as always, I love you guys times a thousand. Bye guys. <laughs>